You say you didn't know, you don't know how the actor and the director arrived in the script. No. You, did, you, you, did you posit any other alternative people who might arrive? No. Just one day you started writing and it was an actor and a director. It was, it was uh, I, just, I just sat down one day with the adaptation there and what, what happened after that is a bit of a blank, but somehow I ended up with, with, a, with a playwright director uh, looking for an actress. You know, so much of what I do is plunging in. I love to plunge in to writing, and whenever I, when I sit over a, over a sentence and I find I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting, I make a decision and I plunge in because I know I can change it. And so I just, I just took a dive, and it turned out that this was a great ploy. Did you feel automatically the minute you got those people arrived that you, 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 were, you, know, you were moving, that, the, that somehow the, the thing that was inert before was flowing and working for you? Yes, because... Um, because I realized very quickly um, what I had was two contemporary characters who don't know each other, who, who need each other, a playwright, act, director needing an actress, uh, and, and the actress. So I had two characters who had intense needs, mixing them with two characters who are very much in stasis. And so you have two characters speaking kind of staccato contemporary dialogue, and you have two characters who are speaking dialogue of 1870. And once I saw that contrast, I knew that I had, I, I, I not only had characters in conflict, I had two eras in conflict. 